the maps are very important in everyday life the subject of uh, map making is uh, one of the very important demo domain in the subject of geography so these maps are not only used for the calculation of the uh, different land information but it can be used for even navigation purpose so today the maps are not only made for the purpose of the environmental pattern but it has uh, also very important in the uh, in the human pattern also the maps may be defined as the representation of the earth pattern as a whole or a part of it with conventional signs drawn to a scale and projection so it means it is not only used for the making of a part of the earth uh, like uh, uh, as uh, a country wise or uh, as a continent wise but also it we can make a map of the world also so it that's why the maps are not only used for the particular area but also for the the whole of the uh, area now the framework of the map is based on the way how the graticules either the longitudinal and latitudinal network is prepared this depends on the position of the area on the earth's surface and type of the map so when we are defining map of a particular area of a region so each and every point on it corresponds to the actual terrestrial or celestial position by gradual evolution in the science of map making it is now possible to picture the earth's pattern more precisely and to compress varied type of necessary information in a single map sheet without any verbose description this depends on the position of the area on the earth's surface and also on the type of the map in this slide we have a actual map of the north america but the globe represent the true picture of the area but that true picture actually represent when we are representing on the sheet of paper it can be transferred through the help of certain latitudes and longitudinal extension so uh, like this is the actual land of the north america peninsula now this actually piece of paper is giving the true picture why because it has the same latitudinal and longitudinal zonation so that's why each and every point which is actually over the surface of the earth is actually truly transfer on the piece of paper so like uh, this is the gulf of mexico so here you have the same area which is actually has the same longitude and latitudes so it means the map is the true picture of the planet the amount of the information to be represented on the map depends on the map projection conventional signs methods of map making and scale so these are the basic components of the map making without map projection we cannot draw the map over the piece of paper so every projection type has its own location over the earth surface like the latitudinal extension are very important here the cylindrical projection is used for the areas which are closer to the equatorial region tropical areas but the conical projection can be used where we have the middle latitudes so same is the case with the zenithal projection which are used for the polar areas so map projections with the help of longitudes and latitudes the area can properly be managed same is the case with the conventional signs so these are signs which are actually not only for the physical environment but for the human environment as well like the weather symbols are used for the weather maps the conventional sign which are actually helpful for the making of the uh, the human features like the city environment has its own symbols the, the mosque the railway line so these man made feature have symbols so these are called the conventional signs the method of map making are very important when we are dealing with the techniques like some maps are prepared by the help of a computer some are prepared for the with the help of the aerial photographs some maps are prepared with the help of sketching 
so these are actually the methods which are used for the map making so the last component which is very essential for the map making is the scale so every scale actually gives us the shape of the map at larger scale level we are dealing with the large scale map the smaller scale level we are dealing with the small scale map so word can be made over a small scale map same is the case with the with the city map which actually are very helpful for the description of the landscape and land uses so here we have the large scale maps so it means the scale in map making is very important now here we have the major projection which are used for the different areas so as we have already discussed the cylindrical projection is used for the areas which are closer to the equator so this line is equator now around these uh, uh, around this line the projection is used which is called the cylindrical projection now in zenithal projection the north and south poles are actually under the main construction of the maps so here we have only the area which is closer to the poles but the middle latitudes are actually made by the by the type which is called the conical projection so conical projection is used for the middle latitudes or the temperate areas the need for map projections arises from the fact that an ordinary globe is rendered use less for a small country it is not possible to make a globe on a very large scale so when we are dealing with the the globe it actually represents the true picture of the earth but map actually is the transfer of actual position which is located over the surface of the earth on the sheet of paper